Welcome to At Richest Billionaires Homes, where we take you on exclusive tours of the world's most luxurious properties. Today, we have a story that will whisk you away to the heart of London, where opulence meets elegance in the most spectacular way. Once upon a time in the heart of London, there stood a penthouse so luxurious, it made Buckingham Palace look like a quaint cottage. This was no ordinary penthouse, it was the £100 million dream home perched atop Clarges in Mayfair, boasting views that could make even the Queen envious. Our story begins with Sir Reginald Poshington, a man of impeccable taste and an even more impeccable moustache. Sir Reginald had a pangshang for the finer things in life, from his collection of rare, antique teapots to his pet peacock, Lord Feathersworth. One sunny afternoon, Sir Reginald decided it was time to find a new abode that matched his extravagant lifestyle. After a whirlwind tour of London's most opulent properties, Sir Reginald stumbled upon the Clarges' penthouse. As he stepped into the grand foyer, his monocle nearly popped out of his eye. By Jove, this is it, he exclaimed, twirling his moustache with glee. The penthouse was a marvel of modern architecture and design. Spread across three floors and nearly 9,000 square feet, it featured two reception rooms with sliding doors that opened to reveal a space perfect for hosting lavish soirees. The kitchen, with its sleek marble island and minimal lacquered cabinetry, was a culinary dream. Sir Reginald could already picture himself hosting grand dinner parties, with Lord Feathersworth perched elegantly on the marble countertop. The pièce de résistance was the wraparound terrace on the ninth floor, offering 360-degree views of Mayfair, Green Park, and the iconic London skyline. Sir Reginald imagined himself sipping Earl Grey tea while watching the sunset over the city, his peacock strutting proudly beside him. But the wonders didn't stop there. The eighth floor housed six in-suit bedrooms, each more luxurious than the last. The principal suite featured a grand walk-through wardrobe leading to a striking marble bathroom. Sir Reginald could hardly contain his excitement as he envisioned his extensive collection of silk cravats neatly arranged in the walk-in dressing room. In the middle of his exploration, Sir Reginald couldn't help but think, this is the ultimate dream home. If you want to see more incredible properties like this, make sure to subscribe to At Richest Billionaires Homes. The tenth floor was a paradise of its own, with a stunning roof terrace perfect for summer parties. Sir Reginald could see himself hosting garden parties with the creme de la creme of London society, all while enjoying the breathtaking views of Green Park and beyond. As Sir Reginald explored the penthouse, he couldn't help but chuckle at the thought of his old home. Who needs a castle when you have a penthouse like this, he mused. With a sculptural staircase connecting all three floors, the penthouse was not just a home, it was a masterpiece. And so, Sir Reginald Poshington moved into his new abode, where he lived happily ever after, hosting the most extravagant parties London had ever seen. Lord Feathersworth, of course, became the talk of the town, strutting his stuff on the terrace and charming guests with his regal presence. The £100 million dream penthouse at Clarges became a legend in its own right, a symbol of luxury and opulence in the heart of London. And every time Sir Reginald looked out over the city from his magnificent terrace, he couldn't help but smile, knowing he had found the ultimate dream home. If you enjoyed this story and want to see more of the world's most luxurious homes, don't forget to subscribe to At Richest Billionaires Homes.